Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at my old 12-foot uh, aluminum boat here. I got some uh, parts from GoPowerSports.com and uh, we're going to throw them on the old Predator here. So let me give you guys a quick walk around and uh, yeah, we'll get started on this. So here we go. We got this uh, Predator 4, 420cc, 13 horse and uh, oh, there's my boss. There he is. What's up, kitty boy? <laughs> right, so, uh, yeah, it's the old 12 foot boat. Uh, me and the wife kind of went over this boat last year and uh, kind of redid it. It was pretty rotten. And uh, we redid all the paint, all the wood, and I uh, put this uh, Swamp Runner kit on it from uh, SPS. It's the A85 Swamp Runner by SPS. And uh, pretty simple kit, really, not much to it. And, uh, Turned out sweet. We had a good time uh, rebuilding it. It was fun. Yeah, I don't know uh, what kind of boat it is. Don't know how old it is. Uh, so if any of you guys know in the comments, let me know. What are you doing? So yeah, we're going to, uh, I think... Technically, this is like a stage one kit right here from Go Power Sports. Uh, so we're going to be diving into that. And it's got an air filter and some jets, and I got an exhaust pipe for it. So hopefully it gives the old Predator, you know, another another horsepower or two. We'll see what it does to it. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting it on there and uh, checking this thing out. Because you know me, I like some speed, and we're trying to go faster and faster on this thing. So we're going to see what we can do. And uh, so yeah, let's jump into it. Let's see what's in that box. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's jump into this here box. See what we got. All right, so we got this here silencer. That's pretty cool. Silencer and clamp. Looks pretty sweet. I like it. And then we have the uh, header for it as well. So should be uh, pretty simple to put on. I may have to get some different bolts for it. I'm not sure yet. We will see. Uh, what do we got in here? Uh, I think that's for the choke. And then, uh, oh wow, look at that. Nice billet spacer. Looks pretty high quality, I like that. And uh, it's got their logo on it. It's pretty cool. Pretty sweet. It's gonna look good. What do we got in here? I think this is the air filter. Yep, there's our filter. Pretty cool. I like it. And we also have some uh, vents for some of our tubes that we're going to be deleting on the carburetor. We have, um, we have like a little outerwear sock for our filter, which we probably don't need because we're not going in the dust. We in the water. So, and then, uh, yeah, we got this, uh, clamp for the exhaust exhaust gasket and then we got a 420 uh, jet for the carburetor as well so pretty cool all right so let's uh got a whole bunch of parts here so let's uh get over to the engine and we'll check that stuff out and hopefully uh we can get a couple more horsepower out of this thing so yeah, stay tuned <laughs> All right, we're going to be taking a look at this exhaust pipe first. We might as well, because I might have to go get some bolts. Uh, so we'll see. But here's my uh, throttle spring. We're going to pop this thing off here if I can. Probably not. Oh, God damn. <clears throat> damn it. <laughs> might have to get a pair of pliers. But anyways, these are 13s. All we got to do is uh, loosen these babies up. Maybe if I loosen it up, I can get it off. Yeah. 
because I don't think these nuts are going to fit up against that uh, exhaust pipe. We will find out. Okay. There's our big old crappy muffler. So, man, this thing's heavy too. We do have a new gasket. Doesn't look too bad. bracket right here. I'm going to do that later here once we get ready. I mainly want to see if this is uh, Hmm. I don't know if our nuts... Yeah, that's probably not going to work. Yep. So if you can see right here how the uh, studs hitting the pipe. So it's not going to seat up against the back all the way. So we got to get these studs out and uh, go get uh, bolts instead so we can bolt this thing on. I'm surprised they didn't come with bolts in the kit for that. Uh, and another thing, there's no stickers in here. They didn't send me no Go Power Sport stickers. What's up with that? Come on, man. Dang. All right, so we know what we need to do with this now. We're definitely going to have to go get some bolts. Uh, so, dang it. We can, uh, Maybe switch to the carburetor for now. We'll go ahead and take this air box off maybe instead. And uh, take a look at this and uh, we'll go from there. Cause I'm obviously gonna have to take a run to the uh, auto parts store to get some bolts. So I need a 10 millimeter for this. Start by taking these two off. There is still some fuel in this. I hope we don't drain a bunch of gas all over the place. Uh, we gotta pop this thing off of here. Come on. There we go. All right, there's our stock air box cover. There's the air filter. I'm getting rid of that. Uh, there's a 10 millimeter bolt up here on the top. Uh, we must take that off as well. To uh, loosen this up. We probably don't need that anymore as well. Got a couple of breather hoses here. This hose, I don't know. They didn't give me a filter for this. So I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with this. Uh, well, I'm going to have to figure that out. There's a spider crawling. There's a spider in there. All right, well. Come on, baby. All right, so uh, here's one of those hoses that uh, we might be... I don't know. I might take this off and eliminate whatever's in here. There's something in here. I think it's like a, uh, like a little evap box for emissions or something. So we might be eliminating that as well today. We'll take a look at that. A little spider in there. Oh, now he's in the boat somewhere. <laughs> All right, then we got to figure out what to do with our uh, choke lever holder thing as well. So I got some stuff to figure out. I'm probably going to have to crimp this gas line off because once I take this off, we're going to be losing gas. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I think our air filter adapter just threads on there. Pretty simple actually. So we just need to figure out what we're gonna do with this. And uh, I'm obviously gonna have to do something else with my throttle spring as well. Uh, so we got a few things to figure out here, but I cannot wait to get this stuff on here. So stay tuned. Nice. Where's that little crescent?
Look at that sleepy boy. The sleepy boy. Yeah. The sleepy boy. <laughs> Alright guys, back here at the boat. Uh, I was trying to, I went ahead and went to the hardware store. I got some bolts uh, instead of these studs. And I got a little breather for the, uh, you know, uh, crankcase breather dealio there. And uh, I was trying to get these studs out and they are not coming out. So I'm really not sure what to do about it. Um, it seems like they are either stripped in there from the factory or they're made like that so you can't take them out but i mean i had two nuts on here plus heat and it feels like they're gonna break off in there and i was using my big long uh ratchet and so it's kind of scared me a little bit so i think i'm just gonna hold off on these for right now and just put these stock uh stock muffler back on and uh that way in case one of these do breaks i can still run it with the stock muffler on it because uh, i definitely don't want these to break off in there and uh screw up the head because I'll be doing some drilling at that point and I don't really want to do all that. So we're just going to go ahead and continue on the intake for right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, we'll open this up and get rid of this, uh, what you might call it, box in here. It's like, a, I guess it's like an emissions box or something. So we're going to do that real quick. So you know, let's, let's, jump, let's jump to it here. Got to take this little hose clamp off. Oh, that's a giant <laughs> oh, you know what? I got some needle nose pliers. <clears throat> All right. Oh, they screwed it down. What? No, I can probably pull it out. Maybe. There we go. All right, we don't really need that right now. Oops. Uh, we'll probably shorten this hose up a tad so we can put one of those breathers they gave us in the kit to put on that. I'm pretty sure what those are for. Um, so we can probably get rid of this. And then uh, I just need to get a socket for this right here. What is that? Eight millimeter. See what we got in the bag of tricks here. Pretty sure we can uh, eliminate this. So we'll take a look at this and then we'll get to that uh, air filter and change the jet in the carburetor as well, real quick. So, yeah, we got this thing here. Oh, I see. Okay, so we can probably just uh, take, just eliminate this one. And then we can just put one of those filters on this hose there. Not sure how, how the hell. Oh, okay, they strapped it. I was going to say, what the fuck? <laughs> Slide those up off of there here. Yeah, because really I don't think we need this little box for anything. It's just for emissions, I believe. So there's our emissions box. Dump that to the side. And then now we can probably put our little... Uh, that one went on the top, correct? Yeah. But we want this. We'll move this clamp out of the way. <laughs> mm. I wonder if we can 
can change this up a little bit. Get that in there like that. Oh, I could use that other grommet up there still though. And then we can just put our little breather on there. Let's see here. So we're gonna change this up here a little bit. This is going down like this. This is going on here like this. <laughs> Should have put some spit on it. <laughs> That's what she said. There we go. All right, we're getting it. We're getting it. All right, this is gonna somewhere in here like this. Pain in my ass here. Okay, there we go. Oh no, where'd she go? Come back. Might have to use the other hose and make this a little bit longer, maybe. This looks like it's barely gonna work. Dang it. There we go, barely got it. It's probably barely long enough, but we'll see. <laughs> Let me grab our uh, filter we got right here. Wherever it is, oh, it's over here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little bummed about the exhaust, guys, dang it, but what can you do? I'll figure it out. I'll uh, probably post another video on that. Maybe I'll just break them off in there and fix it myself, because I don't know why they would do that from the damn factory, honestly. Don't know. Well, we got to slide this thing on here. Kind of at the uh, wrong angle here, but we're gonna give it a shot. But I believe this guy goes on here like this. That's just a little gas tank breather. I really don't like how short this is. I'm probably gonna have to change this up and uh, maybe use this other hose and kind of make it a little bit longer so it's not so crammed up in there. So, uh, Hold on just a second. Let's do that. I want to do that. So I'm just going to pull this back out and I'll uh, take these all the way back off. There we go. Yeah, we'll use this piece of hose. Oh dang, it's on there. Mm. Dang. See, that's already much more better compared to this little tiny short piece. So we're gonna swap those for that. So let me cut that. <coughs> oh, where's my knife? Hand me knife, hon. Thank you. So we'll chop a disc.
my boss up there. The other boss. That's my kitty. Come on. All right, let's stick our clamp. Oh, that didn't have a clamp on it, did it? No, it didn't. I'm a dumbass. All right, we need our cover. Oh, we need our little rubber thingamajigs. That's right. So let me slide these things on. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, hey, what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Nice, quick, easy. <clears throat> Alright, so here we go. Now we can kind of get a little bit better of an angle at this. Oh, yeah. See, there we go. Nope, you stay. These little rubber grommets like to pop out for some reason. Where's the holes at? Oh, dang. You gotta stick the other grommet on. You get, you get in there. Oh dang it! See this one keeps popping out. Piece of crap. All right, now we're gonna uh, lube up our filter tip there. Slow. Oh no, I better put the clamp on first. Rookie mistake. Okay, there's our little filter on there now. Try and slide our clamp up on there. Maybe. Oh no. I don't think that clamp's made to go on there. <laughs> <laughs> there were two filters in that kit. Uh, Maybe we can use the smaller one? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know what the difference is. But we can certainly try. Much smaller. We can certainly try. Yeah, maybe we'll go with the smaller one. I really don't know what the difference is or what they're for, but this is just a vent for the old fuel tank here. Bam, there you go. All right. I'll go ahead and put our bolts back in here. That took long enough, damn. Your hose has a kink in it. <clears throat> That's all right, it's just a little uh, fuel tank breather. It probably just helps vent the tank. It was going to the carburetor, so the carb likes, you know, s suck the fumes in. Mm. Let's see if we can't, there we go. That's not as kinked. There we go. I'm going to give those a quick tightening. And uh, there you go. Emissions deleted. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Alright, we'll save our little emissions box and our two hoses that we screwed up. Man, I really wanted to use this exhaust pipe, guys. What a bummer. This thing was going to look sweet on there. Check that out. Dang it. We'll get it. I'll figure it out. I got to do something because I don't like that. Paid like 50 bucks for this uh, exhaust pipe kit here, so kind of mad about that. Let's jump over to this uh, air cleaner now. I'm ready to get this air cleaner installed and uh, see what this looks like.
All right, so we got our, uh, before we get started on that air filter adapter, we're gonna go ahead and take this uh, fuel tank drain off. Give me that uh, ratchet. Thank you. We're gonna take this drain off so we can take the bowl off and uh, change the jet in it. Okay, we're gonna take this drain off now. Drain our fuel out here. Still smells like gas, that's good. There's our bowl, still pretty clean in there. That's good, we'll just set this up here for a second. Our bowl gasket's still in there, so that's good. So now we just need a small little screwdriver so I can take this jet out. Uh, hopefully I have a screwdriver here that's small enough. So let me check that out real quick. All right, I found me a small enough screwdriver here, so let's see if we can't uh, get this jet out. Perfect, look at that. Piece of cake jet swap here. Is that it? Come on now. Oh, there she goes. She's coming now. All right, so there's our jet. Little, little baby jet. Uh, let me get the uh, new one out of the kit here. Do the old jet swap here. So they wrote 420 on it. Hopefully it's the right size jet. Um, just hope it runs worth the shit. Because if not, then I got to, uh, I got to drill out the. Uh, I don't have to drill it out spec and we'll obviously save the other jet all right new jet going in and on these jets you don't want to tighten them too tight because they are brass just give them a little snugging where it's not going to come loose all right, jet swapped. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and put our bowl back on here. Put the bowl on. Make sure it's seated in there good. This motor's pretty new, so I don't really need to change any of these gaskets. Everything's nice and fresh. Low hours. <laughs> All right, there's our bowl. New jet, ready to go. All right, so now we have this uh, spacer they gave us here from uh, gopowersports.com. I can probably put a link in the description to the website where I ordered all this stuff from. But uh, pretty basic, we just slide this baby on get our nuts roll them babes on there you probably will need a deep socket for this which I will have to run and get because I don't think I have any in my bag right here Noticing an issue with this too. The nuts are bottoming out on the stud. There's no more threads. So it seems like I'm going to need a washer or two for this. Interesting. I don't know. That's kind of it's kind of crummy. They should have told you you were going to need some washers or something. Dang it. So hopefully I have some washers sitting around. If not, I'll have to go get some. So hold on just a second. Oh my God, look at that. Let me 
are you doing? All right, I found some, I uh, found two lock washers, luckily. So those will probably work as a quick spacer. Hopefully they are thick enough. So we're gonna try that again. That's kind of weird. I don't know why there's so many hiccups in this kit here. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping this would just be a quick install ready to go. Um, I'm surprised I've had this many problems with it, but the, I mean, the exhaust pipe isn't their fault. That's the motor's fault because I can't get the studs out. So that is that is what it is. But I was expecting this to fit nice. So let me grab a uh, 10 millimeter deep socket probably because this thing going to work. Oh, no, this works. <laughs> Barely. All right, we're going to tighten this. Uh, this is a really nice spacer, though, by the way. Dang, I mean, it is nice. Oops, come on, baby. All right, there's our spacer on there, ready to go. It is nice. Dang, I've got to admit. Woo! She's going to get some more air. All right, and then so uh, here's this choke block off or this choke hold down plate. Pretty simple to install. Uh, basically, what it is is it holds this in place because this thing, uh, this is the choke lever right here. If you look inside the board here, you know, the choke. That's all it does is it opens and closes your choke, but this uh, handle can come off basically. So they give you this to put on the top because that air filter box is no longer here. And on the back of this adapter, there's a hole for this little tiny bolt. So we just uh, bolt this on. And it basically uh, keeps this choke handle from flopping up and down. Really simple. I don't know what size that is. It's probably an eight millimeter. Yep. Might need like an eight millimeter wrench because eh, maybe it's not an eight, it might be something else. It might be a seven. It's tiny. Hey, you, what are you doing? Come on, get up here. Come on, where are you going? Okay, no, it is an eight millimeter, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of odd because uh, you can't really get anything in there. I don't see how you'd even get a wrench in there. So we are gonna try. No, that's definitely not gonna work, see? <laughs> Strange. Strange. Yeah, but if you can't get it tight, it ain't going to do any good. So, I'll have to find a little tiny wrench or something to get that tight with. Dang it. But at least now we can try and put our filter on, which is probably the coolest looking thing out of the whole kit is the k and style air filter here so um probably straight up you can kind of angle it at whatever angle you want which is kind of cool uh i'll probably uh go straight up like that more than likely looks good so we just stretch this baby on there make sure it doesn't interfere with our choke bracket there sort of barely And then we need a screwdriver or a socket. I have a small screwdriver over here so I can use that. Oh, come on. Clamp's a little stiff. 
Don't know why either. <laughs> it's not one thing, it's something else, I tell you. Probably some cheap Chinese clamp here. You know. Cool. It looks good. We're going to try and start it too, maybe. Hopefully it'll run. I'll have to put the uh, stock exhaust back on it. Let's try and get this clamp pulled up here. We don't want this baby vibrating off because this is a boat it will fall off in the water <laughs> all right looking good now we just got this other little breather here i guess you don't really even need this on there anymore but i thought it would look cool if we put that other little breather on there you know make it kind of ricer <laughs> uh, but i will need something like this and maybe a couple of clamps i don't know yet I was kind of looking into it, but I bought this uh, Spectre breather filter here, so we're going to check this out and see if we can install this on there just to make it look cool, match our air filter a little bit. It was like 12 or 13 bucks, so... You can't beat that, I guess. See, this will fit on there pretty good. But I just need a clamp for this because it doesn't fit that very good. Dang it. I might have a clamp sitting around. I might be able to use this clamp for this. It stays on this pretty good. So, I don't know. I wish these little tabs weren't on there and I can just slide them together. But it is what it is, you know. Let me look around and see if I have another clamp. We'll see what we got. Draining down the uh, little tabs here. <laughs> Perfect. So I rigged up the breather here, sorta. I need another clamp for this. I didn't have one, but it's on there. It can't really fall off, so we're gonna try it and uh, see if she runs. I might figure out a way to like zip tie it up somewhere. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. But hopefully this thing runs. Uh, we got the new jet, new air filter on. Stock exhaust is uh, back on. Dang it, it's too bad about that. I'm a little bummed about that, but what can you do, you know? Nothing, I guess. So let's uh, find the freaking key here for this turd. And hopefully it starts. And, uh, forget which way choke was on. I think it's, I think it's like that. <laughs> oh, maybe choke was like that. I can't. Let it warm up a minute. We'll see if it revs up. Cool. 
that's going to do it for this episode of whatever I had for you. That's the old boat. I hope you guys uh, enjoy that. And uh, it runs, it seems to run pretty good. I wish we could get the exhaust on, but I'll uh, keep you guys updated on that and uh, see if we can't get it installed. Uh, but the air filter looks great. I'm happy with it. Uh, the jet seems to be the right jet. It revs up okay. It doesn't bog or anything. So. I'm happy with that. Uh, hopefully uh, it gives it a little bit more power and we'll see how it goes on the water. Uh, as soon as I can get it out on the water, I'll also make a video of that as well. So, all right, I went ahead and uh, fixed this exhaust pipe up here. What I had to do was I had to uh, trim these studs down a little bit and then kind of jerry rig them on there because I tried numerous things to get them studs out and I didn't want to damage the head. So I just had to make it work. So I grind that nut down, cut the stud a little bit, made some spacers, got it all tightened down. And uh, it's on there, it looks good. Uh, seems to be staying pretty tight. I went ahead and shortened this hose a little bit and I still need to get a clamp for this, but it's pretty much ready to go. I'll go ahead and start it up for you guys so you can take a quick listen to the new pipe and that's about it. river shakedown on that but uh, thanks guys take care and we'll see you in the next episode peace out